Hey, coming up, we're just a few days away from the annular eclipse. After the break, we're going to have some helpful tips to protect your camera lens if you're hoping to get a photo of it. We are 11 days away from the annular or ring of fire solar eclipse. Throughout that eclipse, you're going to need those eye protection, those glasses to look at the sun. Yeah, but what if you want to take a picture? Which a lot of people do. They do. Jonathan Coto shows you how to protect your camera as well. On October 14th, those in direct path of the solar eclipse from Oregon to Texas will have the opportunity to witness an event that won't happen again for decades. San Antonio is ideally placed to see the maximum eclipse. Astronomer and eclipse expert Doug Duncan says an annular solar eclipse is unique because the moon's orbit around the Earth is not a perfect circle. It's a little bit oval, so it can be further away and look a little smaller. And on October 14, it's going to be a little too small to totally cover the sun. And so it leaves a ring of fire. And of course, if you don't share the eclipse on social media, did it even happen? Everybody likes to take pictures with their phones. But if you want to take a picture of the sun, you got to protect your phone camera. Duncan invented a filter to do just that. It's called the Solar Snap. He partnered with American Paper Optics. No matter what device you use, here's the key to protecting your camera. When you want to look at the sun, glasses for you. When you want to take pictures of the sun, you put the little filter on your phone, and then you look at your phone screen, just like you would taking any ordinary picture. Both Duncan and Jarrett say you must wear a pair of safe solar eclipse glasses in order to avoid eye damage during an eclipse. So regular sunglasses won't cut it. These have to be ISO and CE certified. So when you go and purchase yours online and have any doubts, they say just buy American. Reporting Jonathan Cotto, KSAT 12 News.